Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Polaris B in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending their system. But without further ado, let's get straight into the action, let's see what they have prepared for us here. So their system is called the Nova system here. Let's go ahead and open this up, here it is, yeah, Nova system by Polaris B. Okay, got some interesting looking gas giants here from the thumbnail that I briefly saw there as well, so let's have a little look here. Okay, so... The Novar system or Novar or star system or Novar system is a star system consisting of eight terrestrial planets and six gas giants, with a total of 14 worlds all orbiting Nov, a white yellow F type, slightly larger than um, Alpha Centauri A. Okay. Nice. First of the planets. We've got uh, this one here. Oh, let's change the view mode, hang on. Yeah. Cool. So Rohara. A small, tidally locked terrestrial world with an orbit lasting only one month. Its surface is covered in charred and molten rock, and any evidence of landforms in the surface has been wiped out. Oh dear. Yeah, you can see it's pretty scorched, isn't it? There you are. Uh, quite dark trail colours in here. Next up, we've got Eukar. Eukar. A heavily cratered grey brown world similar to Mercury in composition. This planet has 25 kilometer plus high mountains, the tallest in the universe, caused by the crust wrinkling around the shrinking mantle. Okay. I wonder what the tallest mountain out there actually is, because that's uh, that'd be interesting. We have like some that go above the atmosphere or something somewhere out there, maybe. Uh next up we have got this one. Uh, this is Q is this Q list? Yeah. Roughly uh, two-thirds of the mass of Earth, the planet has undergone a period of severe volcanic activity, which has caused a massive CO2 atmosphere around the planet, leading to a runaway greenhouse effect. Okay. So, yeah, you actually your Venus there. There you go. That's one moon as well. Little asteroid around it. Okay. Nice. Next up, we got this one. So, uh, is it Eastrick? Every? I don't know how to say that one. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, this desert planet clocks in at 1.2 Earth masses. The largest terrestrial planet in this system. Shallow cut seas cover its surface, providing water for small bacteria who thrive in the planet's nitrogen atmosphere. Okay. Nice. And got one moon to go with them as well. Good stuff. Next up, we've got this one. It appears to be the Earth-like world. Oh, I like the way I like the uh, where the green areas are spread on this. That's good. How's he done that then? What surface is that? Planet twelve and planet two together. Interesting. Okay. Vegetation's on the full. Okay. Ah, excellent. Good stuff. Sorry, so uh, yeah, a planet very similar to Earth. It is home to a semi-advanced species of bird-like creatures who have become pioneers of the Navar system. Okay, nice. Got some moons around him as well. Nice. Okay. Uh, next up, we're heading to this one, Lakeui. Ooh, okay. A planet only half the size of Earth. It sits right on the edge of the habitable zone with a temperature of 2 degrees Celsius. Its ice caps reach all the way to the tropics. Only the equatorial region can sustain liquid water. Life on this planet takes on many exotic forms. Okay. Nice. Not often we see planets with like massive polar cap areas. Very, very nice. Got two moons as well. I think the moons are fairly basic around all of these guys so far. There you are. Okay. We're heading to this one. Do, do we? Yeah? This world is covered with strange ice filled craters. It is believed that it once had a massive atmosphere which kept water at a liquid state but was blown away as the planet lost its magnetic field. Fossilizing frozen remains prove there was once alien life that thrived here but is long gone. Okay. Possibly like Mars in reality in some aspects. Okay. There you go. So next up, we are heading to Weaver over here. A planet similar in mass and composition to Rohara. Uh, that was the one closest to the star. This world is its polar opposite in the environment. Far from the warm and light, it is a tiny cold pebble drifting slightly through space. However, it holds many secrets beyond what 
what anyone could imagine. The origin of all life. Interesting. Okay. Next up, we're heading to High Jage. Because a few, uh, I think these are just asteroid objects, aren't they? Like a little asteroid belt region. Some minor dwarf planets there, as we can see. So we're heading all the way over here to High Jage, so it's the gas giant. Largest gas giant in the system, similar to Saturn in composition and appearance. Excellent. Dominant gas giant. Only 0 0.5 Jupiters in mass, though. It's got some moons. There they all are there. Cool. Uh, next up, we're heading over here. Lanuma. Large ice giant, 21 times the mass of Earth. Very nice. Very straightforward. One on masses of Earth, yeah. Uh, now we're heading to this one. So this is the second large. Second largest gas giant in the system, similar to Jupiter in composition and appearance. Okay. Yeah, it does look very similar, actually, doesn't it? Nice. Those band, the way the bands are formed on those always look really good. Yeah, they all are very nice. Cool. So we've got more like dwarf objects out here by the looks of things. Yeah, a little more asteroids. Yeah, they all are there. So where's the next major world? This one here. Oh, yes, hello. Ice giant, 20 times the mass of Earth. It's getting very dark over here now. Unique due to the strange abundance of CO2, unexplainable heat signatures, and repeating radio emissions from the planet's lower atmosphere. Nice. Also has its home set of moons. Very cool. Here next. Oh, another ice giant. 16 times the mass of Earth. Nice, uh, nice appearance on that one. Looks nice and clean. I like that. Got one moon as well. Alright, next up, we're heading to the next one. Another gas giant. Eight times the mass of Earth. Extremely dark over here, but you can see it in the picture there. Take a good look of it. Because it has a full set of moons. There you go. Nice. There are also several dwarf planets, asteroids in this system. Due to limited day stories, only planets being described here as informative. Okay, nice. And there's a few more, as we said, dwarf planets searching uh, on the edges. So there they all are there. Very nice. Can't get that one. Can I get that one? There he is. Cool. All right, there we are. Let's get the full lineup of everything together. Radius, there you go, and there's your lineup. Quite a nice realistic look of, you know, nothing in here is too out of the world, you know, it's it's all nicely, like, realistic designs. I quite like a refresher like that, having it all, you know, nothing out here is, like, extremely exotic colours. Everything's quite a nice realistic sort of what you'd expect them to be um, in reality. So very, very nice lineup. obviously down to the Rockies as well. Again, I think everything is a very sort of realistic kind of design, and I appreciate that. It's nice to see some more realistic looking systems. Um, that are submitted sometimes because obviously there's a lot of like, fancy colours and stuff and we like our fancy colours, don't get me wrong but it's always nice to have a more realistic lineup of what you'd actually expect to sort of be out there and obviously you've still got the range of some uh, well, you've still got some watery worlds here more earth-like conditions and also you've got your traditional gas giant lineup all with um, the sort of colours you'd expect as well looking good very very nice indeed, really enjoyed that so yeah, that system was from Polaris B in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending this in. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the system, make sure to press that like button. Let's see if we go for 100 likes on today's video as well. And also subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers as well. Absolutely amazing stuff. Really, really appreciate all the support. And yeah, that all said and everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.